Just one day after they were first sighted together, Jennifer Lopez and stepchild Violet Affleck grew close despite her ongoing marital problems with Ben Affleck. The 54-year-old was accompanied in Southampton, New York, by actress Cassidy Fralin, a friend, and the daughter of her husband, Ben Affleck. Ben, 51, was spotted having fun on his new motorcycle while 3,000 miles away. Jennifer showed off her toned back, sandals, and sunglasses with a long black dress. The famous person had waves in her long brown hair and a black purse in her hand. Violet was dressed with sneakers, patterned white slacks, and a red and pink top. Just a few days after becoming viral for her passionate, mask mandate, speech last week, the 18-year-old was seen wearing her trademark frames and wearing a face mask. Violet and Jennifer had become friends on a Saturday afternoon when they visited the East Hampton Antiques and Design Show. The Atlas actress wore blue jeans, wedge shoes, and an open-back white tank top. Jennifer wore her hair tied back in a tight ponytail, accessorizing with hoops earrings and shades. Violet had on a flowy pink skirt with cherry embellishments, white sneakers, and a pink crop top. Jennifer posted a cute video of herself, Violet, and Cassidy in the car on her Instagram stories that same day. The on-the-floor singer was seen grinning at the camera while flaunting her sparkling wedding band while seated in the front seat with the sunroof down. As the wind whipped Jennifer's hair about, the females in the back seat stared out the window. She matched the popular song Girls by the Kid Leroy with a summertime sticker applied to the video. Jennifer seemed to be very happy shopping with Ben's daughter, a source told People. Her face was beaming with happiness. The two were surrounded by people when they left the Roller Rabbit in East Hampton, New York, according to a second insider, who also said they looked unfazed. The couple's outing follows reports that, two years after their 2022 wedding, Jennifer and Ben are having marital problems. Over the 4th of July weekend, the pair was apart, as the This Is Me. The deep water actor remained in Los Angeles, but the now star celebrated with her family and friends in the Hamptons. Ben spent time with Violet, Serafina, aka Finn, 15, and Samuel, 12, the children of his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. According to an insider, their $60.85 million marital residence in Beverly Hills was listed for public sale on Thursday. The couple made unsuccessful attempts to discreetly sell the property with 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms back in June. The mansion was remodeled within the last four months, according to the MLS listing, which explains the $3 million increase in the asking price. Reports that Jen and Ben had been living apart four months earlier this summer sparked rumors that they were getting divorced. Tuesday, Ben was spotted without his wedding band. He lives in a holiday house close to his kid's mother, and Jennifer recently traveled to Italy by herself. The Flash actor was also spotted packing up his possessions and leaving their Beverly Hills house, according to People. Ben is still residing in the Brentwood rental. He's been working there for the past two months, a source told the publication. He appears to be alright. He appears to be focused on his work and has been at his workplace every day. He is also interacting with his children. The actress from Shotgun Wedding did, however, wish a happy Father's Day to her spouse, our champion. In an Instagram story, she gushed over a black and white picture of Ben with a white love emoji, saying, Happy Father's Day. The two were together at Violet's high school graduation as well. In May, however, people were informed by sources that Jennifer and Ben's marriage is not in the best place at the moment. The 16-year-old twins Max and Emmy are shared by the monster-in-law Alum and her ex Mark Anthony. After Jennifer and Ben's wedding in Georgia, Selena Gomez opened up about a few mishaps that occurred throughout the weekend of August 2022. In the September issue of her newsletter, On the J-Lo, Jennifer wrote, we all had a stomach bug and were recovering till late in the week. That, along with a few other unforeseen setbacks, had all the makings of a doozy of a wedding weekend. Still, the couple crossed over successfully. Jennifer went on, it had rained at sunset every day that week. The heat was a concern for everyone. Not to mention the lightning and thunder that showed up every day almost exactly at the precise moment the ceremony was scheduled to begin on Saturday. A song about the wonderful mystery of children, something we could only guess at back then, but it was the perfect choice as our five children preceded me on the walk, is how one may characterize the things we've handed down, 
the song she walked down the aisle to. The twenty years that separated those youthful aspirations from the mature world of love and family that day, Jennifer said, brought more to this marriage than either of us could have imagined. We were creating a new family by marrying these kids into something more than just a marriage to each other. The dancer mentioned how the children had adapted to their mixed family a few months later. We cohabitated, Jennifer said to Today in 2023. The children resided together. It's been like going through a tremendous emotional shift and also having all of your dreams come true. And how would the businesswoman classify every development that occurred? In Jennifer's words, this year has been amazing. It was, I believe, my best year since the birth of my children. The creator of JLO Beauty took the time to rave about Ben, saying, he's dreamy. He is quite charming.